Hello, my friends. I am back with another chapter 39 of Exodus. Making the garments of priesthood. Of the purple, blue, purple, scarlet, and scarlet thread, they make garments of ministry for ministering in the holy place, and made the holy garments for Aaron, as the Lord had commanded Moses. Making the ephlet, making the ephlet, he made the ephlet of gold, purple, a blue, excuse, why do I keep calling blue purple? Blue, purple, scarlet thread, and fine woven linen. And they beat the gold into thin sheets and cut it into threads to work it in with the blue, purple, scarlet thread and the fine, lin fine linen into artistry designs. They made shoulder straps for it to couple it together. It was coupled together at its two edges. And the Entroyan uh, Entroyan Roven uh, and, uh, woven brand, band of its effort was on it was the same workmanship woven of gold blue purple scarlet thread and of fine woven linen as the Lord had commanded Moses and they set onyx stones enclosed in sayings of gold they were engraved as sing signatures and are engraved with the names of the sons of Israel. He put them on the shoulders of the ephlet as memorial stones for the sons of Israel, as the Lord had commanded Moses, making the breastplate. And he and he made the breastplate artistry rope artistry problems that word. Arstrical woven like the workmanship of the ephlet. Of gold, blue, purple, scarlet thread, and fine woven linen. They made the breastplate square by doubling it. A span was its length, and a span its width within double. And they set in it four rows of stones, a row with the sadius, a tripelis, emerald was the first row, the second row was a tri Boys, a sapphire, a diamond, and the third row was a jerk, argit, and amethyst. Amist the fourth row was a bar, onyx, and jasper. They were enclosed in settings of gold in their mountings. There were twelve stones according to the names of the sons of Israel, according to their names engraved like a signet, each one with its own name according to twelve tribes. And they made chains for the breastplate at the ends, like braided cords of pure gold. They also made two sayings of gold and two gold rings. Put the two rings on two ends of the breastplate, and they put the two braided chains of gold in the two rings on the ends of the breastplate. The two ends of the two braided chains they fastened in the two settings and put them on the shoulder straps of the flip in the front. And they made two rings of gold and put them on the two ends of the breastplate. On the edge of it, which was on the inner side of the flip, they made two other gold rings and put them on the two shoulder straps underneath the flip toward his front, right and at, at the seam above the inner woven brand of flip. And they brand bound the breastplate by means of its rings to the rings of Ephlet with a blue cord, so that it would be above the entry ent woven brand on the Ephlet, and the breastplate would not come loose from the Ephlet, as the Lord had commanded Moses, making the other priestly garments. He made the robe of Ephlet woven work of all of blue, and there was an opening in the middle of the rope, like the opening in a coat of mail, with a woven bind, binding all around the opening so it would not tear. They made on the hem of the rope pomegranates of blue, purple, and scarlet, and fine woven linen. And they made bells of pure gold, and put the bells between the pomegranates on the hem of the 
of the rope all around between the pomegranates. A bell and a pomegranate, a bell, a pomegranate, all around the hem of the rope to minister in, as the Lord had commanded Moses. They made tunics arsely woven of fine linen for Aaron and his sons, a turban of fine linen, distinguished hats of fine linen, short trousers for fine woven linen, and a sash of fine woven linen with blue, purple, scarlet thread made by a weaver, as the Lord commanded Moses. Then they made the plate of holy crown of pure gold and wrote on it an inscription like the graven singing, Holiness to the Lord. And they tied it to the blue cord and fastened it above the turban, as the Lord had commanded Moses. The work complete. Thou saw the work of the tabernacle, the tent of Ming was finished, and the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord had commanded Moses. So they did. And they brought the tabernacle to Moses in the tent of all its furnishings, its clasps, its boards, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, the coverings of ram skins dried red, and the coverings of badger skins, and the veil covering, the ark of testimony with its poles and mercy seat, the table of its table, all its utensils, and the showbread, the pure gold lampstand with its lamps, the lamps set in order, all its utensils and the oil of light, the gold altar and anointing oil, and the sweet incense, seen the screen of the tabernacle door, the bronze altar, its greater bronze, its poles, all its utensils, the liver with its base, the hanging of the court, the pillars and sockets, the screen for the court gate and its cords, its pegs and all utensils for the service tabernacle for the tent of meeting and the garments of ministry to minister in the holy place. The holy garments for Aaron and the priest and his son's garments to minister as priests. According to all that the children had commanded Moses, the children of Israel did all the work. When Moses looked over all the work, and indeed they had done it, as the Lord had commanded just as they had done it, and Moses blessed them. So that is chapter 39 of Exodus, finishing up the making the garments of the priesthood, making the ephlet, making the breastplate, making the other priestly garments, and then the work was complete with the plaque on the garments for Mo, uh, Aaron, excuse me, holiness to the Lord. So it was all complete now. All these chapters come all the way up to there. But anyway, now I will go. Let's see. Okay. Discoveries, science, and technology. Gold is most capable of being altered or shaped of all metals. This means that it can be hammered into very thin sheets. Exodus 39.3. Thinner than a piece of paper, gold can be easily worked into different shapes and does not concord. These characteristics help account for its value. So in other words, if gold's heated up really well, it can be hammered into basically sheets of paper and like pieces of paper. And that's basically what they did. Um, yes, these days gold is very valuable. Back then, they used it for these wonderful things that they created that God wanted to be created. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Father, help chapter 39 to reach people, Exodus. Help them to just listen to all the chapters that I keep reading in the Bible. And continue to read and post on YouTube, Father. And Father, help them... People come to you, Father. Help them set Jesus in their heart and come to you. Get to know you, Father. In Jesus' heavenly name, amen. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.